Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and in today's video I'm going to be starting a new weekly reading vlog and I probably won't get much reading done today because it's later on Saturday but I just wanted to intro this video and also kind of tell you what my plan is for the weekend. I'm going to be bringing When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I'm on page 60 right now and I'm absolutely loving this. I love the two main characters dynamics so far. You can already see him have like a soft spot for her. I'm really excited to see how the story progresses and I'm already loving them together. Not too much has happened yet. I just, I love the small town setting. I love the other characters we've met so far. And I cannot wait to read more of this and annotate it more. And I'm also going to bring Practice Makes Perfect, which is the second book. And maybe I will get a little bit of that done. That is my plan for this weekend. I don't think I will be able to vlog much. Most likely just check back in on Monday. Not ideal, but that might just end up happening. But, and also I'm listening to the audiobook of The Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, which is the last book in the Vampire Academy series. Loving my reread of this so much. I can't wait to reread how everything concludes and how everything wraps up in the end. That is all of my reading updates and I need to go to Target to get a few things right now. I did put a sweatshirt on because it's kind of starting to feel a little bit like fall outside and I'm obsessed with that. Fall is just such a beautiful season. I honestly love every season like right before it happens. Like I can appreciate every season, but something about fall, it just, I love the cozy feel of it. And also everyone cannot stop talking about the pumpkin spice latte coming back. So that that's a sure sign that it's fall. And actually, just a little fun fact, I've never actually had a pumpkin spice latte. One, I don't drink coffee. Coffee makes me feel nauseous. I try like a different pumpkin spice flavor thing. I heard they do a pumpkin spice frappuccino. So I could do that because honestly, I'm not sure why coffee just makes me feel so sick. I can have caffeine, it's just I don't know what's in coffee. It does not vibe with me. So I'm going to find a substitute for pumpkin spice because I do love the smell of it and I need to try one someday. So that's my goal for this season. I need to try at least one pumpkin spice beverage. So I will definitely vlog that because that'll be a very exciting day. I have a pretty busy weekend, have a lot of plans with friends, and I cannot wait. We'll talk to you guys soon or when I have a reading update. Good morning guys. I didn't actually film anything on Monday or yesterday because I really didn't get much reading done. I still am making good progress in The Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, which I think I'm about halfway through that audiobook. Loving it. Still reading When in Rome, but loving that as well. So slow progress is still progress, so that's totally fine. Pretty much spent my day yesterday editing because by the time this video goes up, you would have already seen most of them. So it's like a thank you for 150 subscribers and also a celebration of being on booktube for two months. I'm doing five videos in five days starting tomorrow, which is Wednesday, but this is the video that's going to go up last in this lineup, I'm pretty sure. I couldn't really do much reading because I was just like editing nonstop, but I cannot wait to share those videos with you guys. And yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for everything. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos. But I will update more on my reading later today, but I wanted to go on a quick little Barnes & Noble trip because I want to get the first printing of Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin because I absolutely love her books. They mean so much to me. Something about them, it just feels like home when I read those books and it's just the atmosphere and just the way she writes is so beautiful. And so I want to get the first edition because there's design on the naked hardback and also there's artwork on the end pages because all of her books have had that in their first run. I'm going to go actually get the other two to show you guys right back. So we have her first two books, which is The Nature of Witches and Wild is the Witch. I gave this one five stars, this one 4.5, but I adore these books with my whole heart. I definitely want to reread them and annotate them, but I don't know if I want to annotate these editions, but this first one has this underneath and then Wild is the Witch has this. But then the the third book has art here, which I will definitely show you guys later once I get that. But it shows that it's in stock at the store near me, so I'm going to go pick that up. That is the plan for this afternoon, and then later I will update on what I'm reading. And also today is going to be a lot of reading, but also a lot of editing still because I want to make sure I have all these videos edited prior to tomorrow. So I'm going to be working really hard, but it's so worth it, and I cannot wait to upload them. So. That is what the plan is. It's going to be a great day and I will let you guys know what I end up doing, what I read, what I buy. I will just 
bring you guys along on my day and yeah that is pretty much all for this update and I will just chat with you guys later. So my book got a few friends. To be fair, none of them were full price, so I'm just gonna take that as a win. I had such an amazing time at Barnes & Noble. It was just so relaxing and I didn't feel stressed because there weren't that many people and sometimes I get overwhelmed if I'm by myself shopping and there's a lot of people. So it was super fun. They did have the book that I wanted, which is Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. Look at this stunning cover. And here comes the best part. This is what the hardback looks like. It says, he comes alive in darkness, so darkness I become. And the back has the holding hands, so cute. And then the map and then this beautiful artwork so i was so glad that they had this it said it was in stock last night but you never know like it, when things are gonna go out of stock there I'm not gonna read the synopsis whatsoever i'm gonna go into it completely blindly i think it's another witchy fall vibe book so i'm very excited i just filmed my september tbr but this is probably gonna be on there now it's okay we know this about myself now i just add to my tbr and adjust it all the time so yeah here's the first book and they had so many deals on hardcovers i also got a multitude of dreams and this cover is stunning okay i took the stickers off as best as i could but i haven't read anything from this author yet but this cover is so fall so i think i might add this to my tbr as well honestly each of these books could be added to my tbr we'll see but this says the bloody plague is finally passed but what fresh horror lies in its wake so I think it's about a princess that is, she has been kind of isolated from the world and there's a plague. And I am super excited for this one. Both of these give me a very similar fall vibe. Honestly, they look like they could be sisters. <laughs> Wait, y'all, it's the same artist. I'm so smart. That was so funny. I was like, these girls could be sisters and it's the same artist. That's really cool. And I went over to the romance buy one get one half off a table because I couldn't help myself. And they had a book that I've been seeing everywhere recently. First one is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. This cover is gorgeous. The way that he's like holding her, the tension, I can already see it. I love it. I think this is a second chance romance, but I think they're planning a wedding and their exes and they have to work together. I just love this cover so much. And Illumicrate did an edition of this. So if I love this, I might try to buy that second hand. I picked up I Hate You More by Lucy Gilmore. And I have seen this cover before. And the main reason why I got this is because it's a dog show and there is a golden retriever. And I have a golden retriever and I love her so much. And this cover is just so cute. And I figured I might as well just pick it up. It seems very cute. Oh, it's 2021. Here, I thought this was a new release. It's not. But yeah, she is a pageant girl and now she's going to be entering into a dog competition. I think the guy is one of the judges, which is super cool. Right when I was walking to the checkout, I stumbled upon another book. And that is Begin Again by Emma Lord, and this one was 50% off. I couldn't say no to a hardcover 50% off. There were a couple other buy one get one half off books that I wanted to get on the adult rom-com section and then the YA romance section as well. I resisted because I already got five books. It's for a tweet cue. It wasn't my favorite, but this one is a college setting and I think I'm going to like that so much more. And the synopsis seems super interesting. And I didn't realize, but look at the first printing under the dust jacket. That's so pretty. I love that. Honestly, that's what sold it for me too. Here is my fun little Barnes & Noble book haul. So excited about all of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini book haul. I'm talking a little quieter because I don't like wake up my dog. So that's why I'm talking a little bit quieter. But I am going to go eat a snack, I think. And then I'll probably get to reading for a bit before I edit and then go out with friends. That is all for now. If you've read any of these, let me know what your thoughts have been. If you are interested in my reviews, I'll probably read most of these relatively soon or at least this year. So yeah, I will check back in later. Good morning guys it is currently the last day of august which is crazy to think that this year has been flying by so quickly but i wanted to come on here and update on my reading i finished the audiobook of last sacrifice by rochelle mead this series will always hold a special place in my heart i definitely think i loved it more so the first time i read it i think that was in 2019 
I so absolutely love this series. It'll always be like a five star series to me. Nostalgic feels I got from this are absolutely amazing and I'm so glad that I reread this series this year and I cannot wait to continue with the Bloodline series which is the spinoff which follows two characters from this series. I haven't done much reading this morning. I got to page 110 in When in Rome. That is pretty much all that I have to update for now. I am beyond excited to start my September TBR but when I filmed that video, I was getting so excited for all the books on there and I just want to start them so badly. So once tomorrow comes around, you best bet I'm going to be tackling that TBR. I'm going to try my best to read them all. We'll see. But I do want to finish up the last summer books that I have because otherwise I'll roll them over to next year. And I just, I'd like to get them done while I'm in the season that they take place in. So fingers crossed I can do all that. I will just check back in a little bit later and let you know how far I get in when in Rome. Hey guys, so I realized I didn't film an outro. I seem to be very bad at doing those because in my mind when I'm filming a weekly reading vlog, when I start the next one, I just think it's going to be combined with the previous, which it's not, so I'm not sure. I will get better at doing outros in the future. I just wanted to come on here and thank you all for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you're all having an amazing day. Love you all and I will see you in my next one. Bye!